Uh, you know, really, uh, really proud of our football team. I thought played a, a really complete game. I thought our defense played outstanding uh, last Saturday. I mean, Coach Frost is doing a great job. Uh, I think uh, they're playing with a lot of confidence right now and, and uh, a lot of energy. And so we knew we had our hands full going there, uh, being their last home game, you know, all that emotion with seniors and everything else being involved. So uh, I thought our, our defense played extremely well offensively. Uh, it took us a little while to get on track, but then uh, after getting a little rhythm, a little uh, momentum there, I thought played extremely well. Um, you know, special teams pretty solid. Had a couple of letdowns in a, in a few areas, but but the uh, the muff punt that that we recovered, I thought was really one of the changing points of the game. But uh, excited about uh, the win. Proud of our football team, and know we've got uh, a very short week after a long road trip and, and uh, got an extremely talented uh, Cincinnati team coming in here. You know, as you look at them, uh, really, really talented up front on both sides of the football. Uh, I think they're leading the conference maybe in interception, so uh, got a lot of skill back there. So know a very talented football team that, that's going to be well coached by Coach Tuberville, and he's done a great job wherever he's been. So got to be up and be ready to play. Take questions for Coach Philip Montgomery, please. Star one in your telephone keypad to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. The first question comes from Dan Tatora at wakeupcalldt.com. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm good, Dan. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. To, to look at this conference and the level of competition, you spent so much time, obviously, at Baylor and, and the respect that they've had over the years. When you look at this conference, what can you say through your whole coaching career you've seen from this conference? Is it is it just as good as, as where you've been in the past? Or how do you kind of look at it as, as far as your history? Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing with our conference is it's tough from top to bottom. You know, in some of the conferences I've been in prior to, uh, you had some teams kind of at the top of it, and there was, you know, a little bit of drop-off as you got towards the bottom of it. And, and there were some games in there that you felt like that, you know, if you just showed up and played well, you were going to be okay. Um, in this league, right now, the way our conference is built, you better bring your A game every week. A lot of talented coaches, a lot of talented players. And, uh, you know, there, there's not a week in there that you just feel very confident about. So, you know, for us, uh, we have got to, we know we got to battle each and every week. And, and this conference, I think, from top to bottom is as tough as I've ever been in. As you move forward here, obviously your team will be going to a bowl game this season. But to speak, we've spoken on this before, the American Athletic West Division itself with Navy, Houston, and Tulsa all in the mix there in the top three, and obviously Memphis playing pretty well this season. Just what you can say about playing as well as you have and still not winning this division of the West, just what it says about this part of the conference. Yeah, you know, I – we we had some opportunities in there and, and really thought we were we're right there at the top of it. I think it could have gone either way. Obviously, uh, uh, you know, very very talented on the West. I think the East is as well. Obviously, our crossover games have been tough, but you know when you when you look at those teams that you named Navy and Houston and Memphis and and really, you know SMU East Carolina, all those guys they 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 can all play. Uh, they've done a great job. I think everybody's playing at their best right now. And so, uh, you know, you got to have some luck on your side on, on, in this conference, and, and you got to get the breaks that, that come with that. So uh, very, very competitive, very, very tough, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's an exciting league. Thanks, Coach. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, same to you. Thank you so much. I'd like to ask the next one, if I may. We we talked about before you came on about some of the veteran players uh, in your team coming in, particularly the the Dane Evans, the uh, James Flanders, the the Angelo Brewers. Can you talk about some of the the uh, the progression that those uh, players have made specifically, and some of the big numbers that they've been able as they've been able to put up some big numbers through the year, and what they've meant to your to your turnaround? Yeah, those guys have really done a great job of of buying into what we're doing uh, and really trying to take it to another level. You know those. Uh, being in year two it has been has been nice from that standpoint. Uh, they're just more comfortable in, in the style of play that, that we're trying to to do. And so, uh, you know, Dane right now I think is playing really really well. You know, obviously he had the the pick there early in the game, 
um, but then really came back and, and I thought played a, a really exceptional game as far as distributing the football and, and really making us making us move offensively. When you talk about James and D'Angelo, I think our, our offensive line, we've been banged up quite a bit throughout the year, but guys have been able to step in and, and continue to do a great job. But those two have, have set up blocks, really run through arm tackles, done the little things that you asked them to do, and, and been kind of that all-around back, and catching the ball out of the backfield, uh, pass pro, and then carrying the football. So uh, they've been really good. I think we've been balanced, and that's what we wanted to be. Uh, with Josh and Keevan and, and those guys really making plays for us on the outside. So uh, we've got to continue that trend, especially this week. Uh, but I think Dane obviously is the key to it from the standpoint of just uh, distributing the football and, and being a, a true quarterback of our system.